live from the beautiful campus of Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. We are pleased to welcome you into our tour guide live this evening. Hello, everyone. Again, my name is Brad Walker. I am currently a senior studying journalism from the Canton, Ohio area. And I'm super excited to have you along with us today for this tour guide live to show off a little bit of this big building behind me, Baker Center, otherwise known as our student union. But before we get into that a little bit further, it's an absolutely stunning day today in Athens, sunny and about 50 degrees. So this first shot is a shot, a look up Court Street, where you'll see a lot of our off-campus um, shops, eateries, and everything of that sort. You'll see Scripps Hall, one of our journalism buildings on campus, and then our library located just to the right of that, Alden Library, which is seven stories in its glory. And then a little look down Park Place. Um, that is the road that you'll see right in front of you. Um, another just glorious look at our university. So as we enter into Baker Center right now, um, this is a one-man operation right now. Well, at least on um, in the area we're at, there's a lot of other people making this happen, making sure we're live all across our socials. But someone in particular, um, one of our incredible admissions advisors, BJ Heidelball, will actually be fielding your questions and then kind of being the voice of reason, so to say. Um, so he'll come in a couple times and ask questions um, that you may have. So if you have any questions today, feel free to throw them in any of the chats, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube. And BJ will be sure to say, hey, now we'll try to answer those to the best of my ability. But we're right now inside of Baker Center. So currently located on the first floor, you can see with these brand new banner of and we're rolling out uh, forever ohio first finest in forever but on the fifth floor of baker center that is where you'll find our career leadership and development center um, that is a great resource uh, whether you're a student at ou or even an alum that is why we love the slogan forever ohio because once you're a bobcat you're always a bobcat and you'll always be able to use those resources at the career leadership and development center well whether it's getting a resume checked checking out um, some professional attire Anything of that sort, they're able to help you out with that. But to come down onto the floor we are now located, um, just over to our left is the Front Room Coffee House. They serve Starbucks coffee. So if you're a Starbucks coffee addict, um, super nice to have that area within Baker. Um, you'll see over to the left, we have our Women's Center. So for any females on campus, any resources they may need, they have the opportunity to go there. We have our post office located over to the right. Um, and then all the way in the back right corner, that is where Baker Ballroom is located. It hosts various events, such as our 12-hour dance marathon, um, known as Bacathon. It's where a blood drive will be, um, and everything of that sort will be in the fourth floor. So now we are taking the escalators right now. I'm actually going down at the moment. Um, these are the only escalators in the county. And as OU students, we like to say we're innovative and kind of use our resources in the sense during these colder months um, right now, obviously today is an exception. We love to take these from the bottom floor all the way to the top to warm up a little bit or sometimes just want to avoid those hills. So we want to take those escalators in Baker. So now standing on the third floor, you'll see our Greek life offices. So that makes up for around 15 percent um, at Ohio University. So it's not super prevalent relevant, but also not irrelevant either. So that's kind of a personal conclusion. Personally, I'm not in Greek life, but I have a lot of friends who are and they absolutely love it. It will not make or break your campus experience. And then located over to the right, you'll see our campus involvement center. Um, we have over 500 plus clubs and organizations at OU. Anything from the business club to the croc club, anything in between. Um, it's really cool to have all of those opportunities at OU. I think we even have we have a napping club, I think, too. Um, and then hammock club is a is a really big one as well. So we're back on the escalator coming down to now the second floor. You'll see over to my left is the multicultural center. So for students um, from those backgrounds, if they yet again need any of those resources to get help integrated in campus or anything of that sort, they have the opportunity to do so. We have a lot of conference rooms located straight ahead of me um, where you'll maybe have meetings with some of those clubs you have. Um, or if you come maybe for a visit day, you might have um, something to do within that area. And then also on the second floor, we have our Baker Theater. This is houses more of our smaller events, such as our improv shows. Um, sometimes we'll have many concerts in there, student panels, anything of that sort. 
And then a brand new mural located on the second floor with that Forever Ohio branding. And if we have any students, um, current students, live right now, know that you can get your t-shirt swap for that new Ohio branding this Thursday. So if you're watching um, and you want to get that t-shirt swap, get some updated swag, you can do that this Thursday. So yet again, there is that mural for the Forever Ohio. Hey, then, uh, as we make our way back to the escalators, yes, PJ, I was going to ask if we have any questions. Great. Great minds think alike. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I do have a couple questions. One, I can, I can help answer. Um, and the first one is, is there an animation program at Ohio University? And yes, we do have a games and animation program in uh, media arts and studies in the Scripps College of Communication. So that is definitely a big yes there. And the second question is a little bit more technical. I'll, I'll help to field that as well. Um, is there a pre-med pathway at Ohio University? And of course, yes, there is definitely a pre-med pathway. There's a couple different ways that you can go that are pre-med uh, biology, chemistry, biochem. Um, absolutely have those pathways. And then Brad, I'm going to let you answer this question. Uh, the, the question is, my family is visiting on Friday. Are we going to be able to go in any buildings? And they specifically asked about a shop. So you're really close to a shop, so you can show that and then answer the question about what they might see on a tour so that if anyone hasn't scheduled a tour, they can definitely do that now. Yes, certainly. That's an awesome question. So if you do come on a tour, you will be walking around campus and see a variety of different things, um, whether it be uptown, college green. You'll be able to do a quick peek into the library. Unfortunately, we can't do an in-depth walkthrough as we normally would be able to, but you will be able to see just a little bit of the library um, outside of our rec center. Unfortunately, we'll be able to get, go into that either, but there's a ton of windows that you'll be able to see in um, within our rec center, which will be really great. And then you'll also be able to check out this building as well in Baker Center. So those are some things that you'll be able to see on the tour. And as far as shop goes, as BJ mentioned, right here in Baker Center on the first floor, we got Bobcat Depot. That is where you can get all of your Bobcat apparel, swag, um, anything electronics as well. And what's really cool about Bobcat Depot is if you purchase electronics through them, they will actually um, be able to repair those at no cost unless they have to order the parts. So if you're someone like me that's kind of tech savvy but not super tech savvy, um, it's, a, it's a really great resource to have right here on Baker. Um, and then you'll also get a coupon if you do come visit us, 15% off all apparel items at Ohio University. Um, so if you come a little early, want to get some apparel, or you can shop after the tour as well. So that's a really nice option. Um, and then just over to the left, we have West 82, which is more of our grab and go style. You can see we've adapted right now to everything happening. Um, so you can kind of get burgers, chicken nuggets, wraps. I really love their breakfast wraps. I, my sophomore year, actually every Thursday, I would stop in and get a breakfast wrap from West 82. And then lastly, we have Latitude 39 which is located right over here. It's more of our sit down style restaurant. It's designed after an Irish pub. So if you wanna sit down with your friends um, throughout the week, don't wanna have to take the shuttle all the way to East State Street or walk uptown, you have that great option to do so. And then these currently aren't open, but we do have a selection of pool tables that you're able to use the equipment. You just have to check it out on the fourth floor desk. So if you wanna play some pool, normally these TVs are on. Um, and also get a great view as well as this overlooks um, parts of our campus, overlooking a Maritime Park, as well as the rec center, which is beyond the way. So that's a little bit about Baker in general. Um, that's kind of all I have to show off anyway inside of Baker. But now is going to be a great time. I apologize. I didn't field a lot of questions um, throughout, but super happy to field them now. So if you want to throw them my way, BJ, um, I would be happy to answer a lot of questions. Yeah, absolutely. I do have a follow-up on the what buildings you're going to get a chance to see on tour. Um, they will have the opportunity to see the a residence hall as well. So I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about that um, and maybe living on campus and what that experience might be as well. Sure, I'd be happy to. As we step outside a little bit, it's a beautiful day. I was kind of uh, urging to get myself back out here. Um, 
But you'll see residents all, all as BJ said, you'll be able to see a renovated double, um, kind of a situation that you will have a chance to most likely live in um, within your first year. So it is where you um, share a room with a roommate, and then everything you'll see within the room will be available to you, um, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Residence life is great. You have to live on campus for two years. Um, I met my roommate the first year through my college roommate, my college roomie which is kind of like a match.com uh, to find roommates. And we have uh, been best friends since we are now going on year four living together. The second year I lived in a suite style with some other roommates. Um, and we're all still really good friends, everything through that. And the community feel that you get within living in the residence halls is just second to none. You really become a family in these halls. You meet such a great amount of people, people that aren't normally in your major or anything of that sort. Um, and it's really cool. So, that's my little spiel about residence life, but I'd be happy to talk about um, any other specifics if anyone has any other questions. Looks like we do have a couple more questions coming in. Um, I know another important part about the living on campus experience is eating on campus. So while we are waiting for those uh, individuals to finish typing up those questions, why don't you give uh, the people a little bit of an uh, opinion of what are your favorite things in the dining hall and then maybe what is some of your favorite? So I like that our dining halls have a lot of variety. They offer a ton of different options. And we have two, Nelson Dining Hall and Boyd Dining Hall. Um, Nelson is kind of like your, st sorry about that, um, your stereotypical cafeteria style. It offers a array of options, American Eats, um, Asian style selections, Italian food, and then Boyd on the other side of campus will kind of have your healthier options, so to say, where they always have rotisserie chicken. Um, they have vegan buffalo nuggets, which are some of my favorite things, actually. I didn't think so. I'm personally not vegan, but um, I love those things. And they also have a make your own sandwich station, um, a make your own noodles bar that is really cool. Um, so I think our food here is, is really good, and whether you fall in love with the food or not, what I really take away from the dining halls is just the experience. It's such a, it was so nice to just, after a long day of classes, work hard, homework, extracurricular activities, to be able to just sit down with my friends, unwind, talk about the day, talk about just whatever you know, we really wanted, just to blow off some steam because you're in such a grinding college, so that time from that hour you have for dinner just to talk about whatever is just so, so important. Um, and, and a lot of memories are made. Uh, it's not like a lot of standout memories are had, but it is such a great way to unwind. And that's what I really enjoyed about the dining hall. This is my two years living on campus as I live off campus now. But as far as off campus eats goes, Giacchio's is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite places to go to. I think their food is second to none, whether it's the fish and chips, I get a good burger from there. Their pizza, super underrated, in my opinion, as far as pizzas go in Athens. Um, so Jackio's is definitely one of my favorite spots. But for lunch and kind of breakfast and coffee, Brennan's, no doubt, is uh, my favorite. All the coffee shops are great in their own right, but I'm a huge fan of Brennan's. Well, thank you. And you are in the perfect spot to answer this next question. And is there a nursing program at Ohio University? So you can shoot over and cheat a little bit and show where that nursing program lives. Because, yes, we do have a, <laughs> a, a fantastic nursing program as part of our College of Health Sciences and Professions. And uh, show them where that program lives, Brad, over there in Grover Center. Yeah, yeah. Um, but real quick before I do, just because I want to point out this building. This is Bird Arena. This is actually our hockey arena. Um, and our hockey team is great. Unfortunately, it's not a varsity sport, so you do have to pay $5 to get in. But they make it to the national tournament pretty much every single year. Um, and it is such a, a fun fun thing to watch because they are really good. And they also, um, Bird Arena will host open skate nights some nights. So if you want to go and ice skate, personally, I can't ice skate, but... I think it's really funny when I just kind of flop and then give my friends a nice laugh. So that is um, something to do <laughs> um, just on campus to go ice skate some nights. Uh, it's a really fun thing. But back to the nursing question, which I'm sure um, they're eager to hear. We are now standing right in front of Grover Center. This is a huge building on campus. 
that houses all of our um, health science and disorders. So anything from nursing, pre-med, nutrition, communication science disorders, all of those areas of study will be housed within nursing. You'll have lecture halls in here. You'll have labs. Um, they even have their own um, market inside of here, which is, is kind of cool because we have markets on each one of our greens, but we also have one inside of Grover. And some of the food within that market is actually grown and then prepared by our uh, campus nutrition majors, um, which I think is really cool um, to know that our students have our a lot of hands-on opportunities and it is shown directly in Grover Center and the food inside um, of the cafe is really good. I've, ha I've had a couple of the options before because my American Sign Language class was actually inside of Grover. So that's a little peek of Grover and also our brand new Richland Bridge, which was finished towards the end of the summer and provides a super safe pathway for students getting over to West Green or coming back from West Green. And then also anyone traveling by car um, obviously you can zip right on by because you don't have to worry about waiting for students or anything. That was a great show. Thanks for showing that. Uh, I know some alums that might be watching or people who haven't been on campus for a minute probably mm -hmm. really enjoyed seeing that. So thanks for that. We do have a couple other questions. Um, so generally, what is what is campus life like? I know that's a heavy question. It's a, com <laughs> it's a big question. But just generally speaking, what is campus life like for you? What do you feel? Sure, sure. Um, it's definitely a big question. Um, but I always like to say Ohio University in Athens is so, is so welcoming. Whether it's on campus or off, everywhere you go, you are going to find a group of people that are going to welcome you into their group, their, whatever, they're, whatever they may be doing. And I think that's what makes Ohio University so great. So especially in your first two years, when you live in those community style residence halls, you're walking around. My, some of my fondest mo memories are within the first few weekends and we would just have the door open, um, have people pop in, say hi. Me and my roommate would go out and say hi to people. Um, and it's just a great way to interact. And everyone just wants to be friends with people. You wanna get to know people. You'll be able to go to dining halls typically hang out with a ton of people and i would say that's kind of what on-campus life is like um it's such a welcoming environment in the sense that you're typically going to see at least one person you know on your way to class on your way to work what on on the way to the gym whatever it may be um and it is it is very welcoming and very friendly so that is a very it, it's kind of a broad question so if you have anything more specific to go along with that i'd certainly be able to happy um to answer it in that way but i would just say on how welcoming kind of our campus life is like. Okay, thank you for that. And I think you did that, you answered that perfectly. Um, also, there was a follow-up question about dining on campus and can you use your card swipes at any of the food places, like uptown? Yeah, so um, you unfortunately cannot get a discount or use any of your meal plan, anything of that sort um, off campus. But as far as on campus goes, to briefly break it down, we have a flex and a traditional style option. Uh, traditional is you are only have the option to swipe into our two dining halls on campus. And that's the extent it goes to. Um, your meals will just go from week to week. So on Saturday, uh, if you haven't used your meals, you unfortunately will lose them. And then it goes back to the, um, the amount of meals that you have. Now, flex is a little different. It's a bit more expensive, but there are so many more options you can get with it. Um, for example, with Flex, with being able to swipe into the dining halls, you are also going to get a set amount of Flex points each semester that will expire at the end of the semester that you can use at any of our dining options. Those are areas like West 82, Latitude 39, and I had pointed out earlier. We also have an on-campus food truck, and then any one of the campus cafes, um, you are able to use those Flex points. So like Front Room that I showed off, Earlier on in the uh, live today, the there's a cafe at the library. There's one on South Green. You're able to use those flex points, and then also you're able to use your extra or you're able to use meal swipes at the um, markets on campus. So each one of the three greens has markets. You're able to use the meal swipe. It comes at a value of six dollars and fifty cents. So if you want to get snacks throughout the week, what a lot of my friends would do is at the end of the week use their leftover meal swipes if they had any, and just get snacks, drinks, anything like that. So that's kind of a breakdown. Our culinary website 
does an incredible job of breaking down what Flex and Traditional um, offers to you and would highly recommend checking that out um, if that's something that you're really interested um, and wanting to look at. Okay, uh, I do have one last question that's come in and we'll see if there's any that come in while you answer this question. Uh, this this might be a controversial question. So <laughs> I want you to be prepared because I know when you're talking about this subject with tour guides and anyone who's lived on campus, it can be a very complicated answer. I, th I think I know where this is going. <laughs> I probably <Wrong>. do. <laughs> they want to know what is the best res hall to live in with oh. the quali with the qualifier being near scripts or schoonover okay all right so qualify all right so we have a pronounced just qualifier okay so i thought you're gonna ask which green is the best east green best green by far the, not a doubt in my mind all three <laughs> are great in their own right but east green best green but that's for that's for another day but i want to mention that all three of our greens are actually great there is no no one has a specific reason for why a green is actually better. For those of you prospective students out there, um, wherever you live, east, west, south, they are all great. Um, but as far as the question goes, I love Gammersfelter Hall. That is where I lived um, on East Green my first year. It was close to Morton Hill was on the left to kind of get to one way of campus. Jeff Hall or Jeff Hill was over to the right, able to walk up. It's a steep hill, but nonetheless, it's a hill that gets you right in front of Schoonover and can uh, lead you towards Scripps Hall. And then also you're a short walk away from Jefferson Market, um, which is an awesome marketplace. So if you ever need to get any of those snacks, drinks that I talked about, you're about a two, three minute walk from Nelson Dining Hall over on South Green. Um, so I think Gammersfelter is a great, is, is, Personally, the best, but that's because I have a lot of connection to it. Um, and then other uh, other halls in that area, Jefferson Hall is a uh, is a great one because you live in the same building as the market. There's a lot of open space in Jefferson Hall. Um, Perkins across from GAM is another great option. All of the halls, I would say, um, on East Green are great. Like I said, I'm a huge East Green fan. So I would recommend just picking any one of the halls that you can on East Green, but Gammersfeld there, I am going to say, is my favorite. We, there is a, there's a big lobby spot with four TVs that can all connect, or you can have different things. So for March Madness, we would just sit in the lobby, throw on all of the games on the four TVs, and just have an absolute ball. We would do that all the time, even in the fall with uh, football Sunday. So that's why, that's why I say Gam. Gam's the best. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right. All of our greens are amazing in their own way, but you are correct that East is my favorite as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. Um, a fo there's been a follow-up question that I'll kind of help uh, to help answer here. There was a question about uh, the number of dining halls on campus. And right now, uh, there are two that are, are mainly open that was open in the fall, and that, of course, being the district in, on West Green and the Nelson Dining Hall. On, on South, uh, Boyd Hall, I'm sorry, help me out. The, the district on West Green is the one no, on West. Shively is uh, on East. Shively, I'm yes. sorry, I completely <laughs> blanked on Shively. Shively is currently operating on a grab-and-go as well to help um, with the students um, utilizing the new Ohio Food app. So in one of our efforts to battle COVID crisis on campus, we are having those options to pick up and pre-order food. And that that Shively Dining Hall is, is open as a grab and go to help uh, that process as well. So I just um, wanted to address that as we wrap up here at our time. So I, I want to say thank you to everyone who took the time to watch this and ask questions. Uh, we love showing off our campus and doing these. So we'll be doing some more of these. So you might see us pop up again sometime soon in your stream or on YouTube. So Brad, I'm gonna let you close it out. And again, thanks for being with us tonight. Yes, thank you all for hopping on, whether you're a prospective student, current student, alum, we really appreciate you being on the stream. Um, if you ever want to check out anything Ohio, check out all of our socials um, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, 
Um, just look up Ohio University and you're going to be good to go. Um, on all that, you'll get to see all things Ohio um, all the time. Big thank you to everyone that has been able to help put this together. Um, and as far as that goes, thank you for all the questions as well. It's been so fun answering that. But I hope everyone has a great night. Um, and this is Brad signing off. And go Bobcats.